What if I told you, if you build me a house, I will burn it down. Would you build it? Would you take all the time, all that effort, and build a house knowing that I will burn it down? Okay. Would you write a 20 page report, essay, story, or whatever on paper, if I told you after you write it, I will place it in the shredder. So let's say you can only write it on paper. And let's say I tell you, after you get done, like the second you get done, I will shred it. And let's say it takes you like, man, three days, four days, a week or so. Would you do it? Would you build that house? Would you write that story, essay, report, or whatever it is? Would you do it? If I told you I will destroy it. Okay. Would you paint something that takes you a year or so? Would you paint something that will take you that long? If I told you I will take something and scratch up the paint and take a hammer and put holes or dents or whatever into your project, would you do it? In all those examples, you would probably say no. Why? Because I believe it would be a waste of time. Okay. So, can you agree that it would be a waste of time? I believe so. All right. We all have to die, right? Huh? We have to die, right? I believe so. And I believe also we will either go to heaven or hell, right? Unless there is in in between. No, I don't think so, right? So I believe after we die, we will go to heaven or hell, correct? So what sense does it make to place God last or not even place God in your life, I guess I can say, and pursue so many things other than a relationship with God? Let's say you are pursuing a high paying job. Let's say you are pursuing getting a wife or husband, which is not a bad thing, but please follow along with me. Let's say you are pursuing a good life per se. Let's say you are pursuing so many achievements or 
maybe I should say, so many goals. Maybe you want to be the best soccer player or the best basketball player or the best weightlifter, whatever. What use is that if you are going to die and either go to heaven or hell? Let me say it in a better way. What use is it to pursue those things and not pursue God? Let's say you are living for the now, living for fun, and let's say you aren't even acknowledging God. What use is that? What use, even if you are successful in everything you do in life, if you aren't acknowledging God, if you aren't, if you ain't, if you aren't following God's rules, per se, not, not per se, but if you aren't trying to follow God's rules, what use is everything else? Isn't it like, you building me a home, then afterward, I burn it down. Like, what is the point? Like, it is a waste of time, right? No matter how much money you make, no matter how many girlfriends or boyfriends you can ob obtain, no matter how well you can dance at the club, no matter how tight you can get your clothes, I believe we all have to die one day. So. If you want to go to heaven, because I know for myself, I don't want to go to hell. If you plan on going to heaven, why not place God first in your life? Yes, you may have difficulty in trying to do the right thing, but why not pursue it as much as you are pursuing that job? or pursuing that woman or man, or pursuing that iPhone or whatever. I believe there are some things some people were not good at doing, but I believe they stayed somewhat consistent in it until they got better. Well, how is living for God any different than that? Don't you have to be consistent? How can you expect being able to live for God well if you don't try to be consistent? I believe it is going to take time to be able, I believe to do better in living for God, I think it is going to take, I don't really want to say practice, but I believe it is going to take time. Don't waste your time on this earth doing silly things. How can I say this? Don't waste your time on this earth not acknowledging God and placing all your focus in earthly pursuits. Do you understand what I am saying to you? No matter how good you get at something, if you don't have God in your life, I believe you are wasting your time. 
If I know I have to meet God one day, why in the world am I placing all my mind and all my efforts in making money? Can I take my money to heaven? Can I take my money to hell? I don't think so. Like, what can I buy in hell? What can I buy? What can I buy with earthly money in hell or in heaven? If you have to meet God one day, if you don't want to be tormented for all eternity, why not place God first? Right? Yes, I know you may want to do this. You may want to do that. You know, you may say to me, Kevin, you only live once, YOLO. Okay. But how long are you going to be on this earth? If you are blessed, maybe, I guess... 80 years, I guess. But how long are you going to be in the afterlife? Even if you can live with $1 billion for 80 years, is it worth having that money and rejecting God, then going to hell, then to the lake of fire? Is it worth it? Back in, back in my past, there were bad things I liked to do, yes. But is it worth it for me to sacrifice so much for so little? Sinful pleasures are so little. I want to go to heaven. Why would I jeopardize, if I am using that word correctly, why would I jeopardize a chance to go to heaven for carnal pleasures? Women. Doing this, doing that. whatever else. Why? Give your life to God now. You may like, what is that word? Turning up? I guess getting wild or whatever that means. You may like cussing folks out. You may like to physically fight but are those things worth it give your life to god i pray that this all makes sense i hope i did not say anything wrong and i don't try unless i am playing with someone i don't intentionally try to hurt anyone so let me stop here. God bless you.